It would be nice to win the league next year, yeah? It is a league winning kit. It is a oh, league winning kit. So guys, it's been a long time, three months, and weirdly, I have missed you guys. Oh, you've missed us? Yeah, we're back together. I've missed you too. I've, I've missed, missed you too. I admit. <laughs> but we are back together for important matters. Yes. The 2021 kit was revealed with our brand new partner, Three, on July the 1st. And today, we are unboxing it. You guys at home may have seen the players wear it over the past week, and it take over London Piccadilly Circus. I love this part of the year, if I'm totally honest. Like, this is the part of the year where I get excited. Every year, you get, obviously, we see the leaks come yeah, out, and, but we're still guessing, you know, is that the official kit? And then it comes out and we're, we're using, we, I mean, we have a history of like really nice kits. We do. And this year is the same. Yeah. I'm in love with it. I'm absolutely in love with it. I really like it as well. So who bought your first kits? I think mine was my dad. And it was weirdly, considering I've never played in goal, a Petr Cech kit, it had Cech on the back. And I reckon it was maybe like 06, 05. The, one, the first one I remember, is the away orange and grey one. It's really old, before you were born. I think that might be before yeah. I was born. It was maybe orange and grey, pause. Like, it was around that, maybe, I wouldn't even be surprised if it was, if it was like 95 or 96. Let's kick things off then. As you can see, we have all been given a very, very special box that holds a kit inside. And much like the kit itself, it is very fancy, very classy, very it is. West London. It yes. is very West London. We're, we're all about style on this side of London. Indeed. And it's all right, without further ado, unveil it. Guys, I think we should unveil it. Go okay. on, then. On the count of three. One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Smells fantastic, too. I do have to admit. Now, you guys have a slightly different kit to myself. I've got the stadium version, whereas you two have the vape in it. They are both beautiful, but one of the first observations I've made about the vape in it is that the herringbone pattern, which is obviously very West London, very Savile Row, yes. for anybody that's seen <laughs> Alice fall down the book or fall down the, the rabbit hole, <laughs> the pattern's actually stitched into the fabric. Yeah. Um, which is actually different to myself because on the stadium one, it's more printed. Yeah. Also, the, uh, the vapor knit kit is obviously, it's cut slightly closer to the body. It's, a, it's the one that the players will wear. So yeah. if, you, if you feel like a player and you want to feel special and feel mm. like, you know, you are playing with these guys on the pitch, on your left. This is the one that you want to go for. Indeed. Whereas... The stadium one is more for the supporter. The one who is going to be in the stands chanting on his team. This is the women's as well, so it's tapered in a little bit more just to give a bit more shape. Um, I love this like dark navy, kind of like it's almost black. Tailoring to yeah, it. Yeah, down the side, so Pride of London and the colour, and I love all of it. I really like the colour. It's a midnight blue. It no. is. It's yeah, a it midnight blue. Yeah, yeah. 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 It it's not a midnight is. blue. I've also got to say, guys, I'm a massive fan of the trim that's on the collar and on the sleeve, mm. which, if you're looking closely, has the word CFC on it, very which nice. has been monogrammed in, which is just a very posh word for stitch. But it's classy. It is. It's very classy. It is. It is very classy. It's very West London. It's very Savile Row. It's a posh football shirt. It is. Yes. Also, both are made out of 100% recycled polyester which is really important. Um, obviously, sustainability is really important for the planet at the minute, and it's a really good direction for Nike and the club to go in going forward. Now, obviously, we cannot wear these kits at Stamford Bridge, as there are no fans allowed at the moment, but we can wear it to the park. <laughs> we can wear it at home. It's still a must-have. Um, me, personally, I will wear it with a full kit. <laughs> That's not <laughs> surprising. And I will very likely try and sub myself on. But, um, Zach, what else could you wear this with? To be fair, I think it can kind of go with anything. I mean, if you're, yeah. if you're a kind of jean person, it'll fit that. And if yeah. you're a uh, shorts, like myself, then I think you, um, you, you'll be all right wearing it then as well. I just think it's very, it's, it, it's so, it just looks good. It does. It, it looks yeah. really, yeah. really good. It's a kit that I think everyone even, even the fans at home all agree is, is one that's going to hopefully go down in history. 
I hope so. It would be nice to win the league next year, innit? Yeah? So now it's time to see what you guys at home think of the kit. So I'll put mine aside. And blame Ryan, Sydney, and Super Frank Era are all in agreement saying it's an extremely clean kit and they're a big fan of the collar. What do you guys think of the collar? I think the collar looks fantastic. Um, simple. It's simple. It's clean. Mm. It's classy. And, and I think that's the thing, right? It's a, it's a very simple kit, sometimes too much is too much and having yeah, it a, yeah. bit, a bit less is what you, is what you need. Less is more. Indeed, yeah, less, less is, is more. more. Now, Cons and Blue is a colour. Blue is a colour says, I love the new kit. And Cons says, it looks saucy. Now, I don't know whether saucy is the word I'd use, um, but it uh, basically just means it looks stylish. Why right? not? Why wouldn't you use the word, word saucy? It's not in my vocab. It's just, it's, it's not, not in my vocab. I think saucy is a good word. It is, it is. Yeah. It just means it's stylish, it's trendy. Mm. It's a, it's a, it's a tasty. Top. It's a, I like it's that. Exactly. That, use that one instead. There you go. It's a top that we can wear out when we're allowed out. Indeed. Yes. Indeed. Tasty. I like that. Um, CFC Lance says it's the nicest kit in the league. And George Benton also says things you like to see. It is a thing I like to see, and it is the nicest kit in the league. Of course. Are we all yes. in agreement? Absolutely. I could we not agree? Indeed. Right. The NFL UK simply says class, because I think that is what everyone thinks. It is just class, mm. classy. And finally, Andy Hall says with blue and white dots, plus the fire emoji, and has gone to work and photoshopped Timo Werner in the kit. And I mean, he does look very, very good in it. I hope you see him scoring lots of goals in it next season. Uh, I'm very excited for the new players joining. There's also another person. Yeah, Kim Ziyech, I feel like he's gonna look great in this kit, I think he'll play very well as well. So there has been some discussions online about the three logo, whether it should be as it is, a number or in text. And I don't know about you guys, but I like how it looks at the moment. I'm a big fan of it being the number three. Yeah, I, I feel like it is older, it's a bigger statement. It's simpler, it's bigger. It is. Yeah, it is simpler. I agree, at first I wasn't sure to be honest, but now, I just, I, yeah, I just really like it. I just like the graphics, everything just works. My eyes just see it and they're like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we launched this kit on the 1st of July. It's now the 9th of July. And if you guys want your very own kit, whether it's a stadium version or the Vapor kit, then you guys can go online or into retail stores and get your very own. Right, guys, I'm gonna put mine away. Keep it nice and safe. Good idea, I'll do the same. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hold mine, because I can't do that. <laughs> Three swift movements. 